It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Now look, I got some leaked information about the goddamn 2K24 builder, man. I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be like exactly. We got some devs tweeting about it, and we got some people very close to 2K talking about it that have to do with the builder every year. And I'm gonna dispel this whole role player verse, and I'm gonna dispel this whole role player verse do it all build conversation, man. Now, firstly, what I wanna say. Is any person advocating for the role player builder is going directly versus the consumer? They do not f with y'all on any level. They care about themselves, okay? This video might ruffle some feathers, but I am going to expose the truth. Now, me personally, I don't care the about the builder anymore, bro, because I've realized the truth. The gameplay makes the builder. So at this point, I'm with whatever, whatever y'all like to see, man. Whatever gets the game the most popping, whatever makes it more appealing for y'all. And yeah, the do-it-all concept is probably bad for me as a creator because I can't just make content on a bunch of different builds because do it all builds like in 2k16 and 2k15 i would make one build a year that's very w for the consumer but that's a, that's an l for the creators you, you you feel me and it's an l for the company you feel me but before we get into this whole video i'm gonna go over all of this stuff especially the leaked information but before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new help me hit 275k.2 we are like 90 subscribers away and turn on them damn post notice and hit that goddamn like button it is free it helps young swan grow now firstly ld okay he tweeted out i'm considering going full defensive lock like I did in 2K18 and 2K19. Now, LD has a tendency to be tweeting about stuff that low-key be in the game. Like, like for instance, with the crossplay stuff, like he was making like tweets and stuff and all that, you know? And there's like other things where like he's like talking about it. Like the devs, they be talking about certain things and they end up happening just with like some months later. So I'm gonna show y'all the op 2k19 lockdown i think it might make a return man because it's looking like they don't know what to do with the defense you feel me and at like 610 i don't know if this is 610 but i'm sure the stats was somewhat close i was complaining about it all year because it was broken a 610 lockdown in 19 they were faster than point guards y'all see this speed 95 99 lateral quickness they were 610 and they could green in the corner, and they had the 99 still. I don't know if this is the 610 one though. Regardless, the 610 one was still faster than point guards. It was insane. It was broken as hell. <laughs> but I'm thinking they might make this a return into uh, 2K. I mean, it's looking like it's, it's, it's possible, bro. Like, they might do something like this. Y'all let me know if this is a W idea, if you want them big lockdowns in the game. <laughs> Oh man, but these dudes was devious. Hold on, let me look at the badges. Look at that. They had the rim protector, the putback king, defensive stopper, charge card, pick dodger, pick pocket, chase down hall of fame, bruiser, quick reflexes. You feel me? Like it was, bro, these dude, they was so OP. But overall, like 19, bro, it had better tracking. Like you could follow people a lot better. Like the contest system was horrible, but you could follow people a lot better. The paint D was horrible, but the paint D in 19 was still better than like the newer 2Ks. So like better defensive games have like existed on the perimeter, bro. So like there's no need for this damn adrenaline, whatever, like stupid nerf of stamina, bro. They have to fix the D. It's the only way to fix uh, the damn left, right. Y'all be crying about all the time. Now look, here is a short by Young Double H, man. I couldn't have put it better myself. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play this hoe for y'all, man. 
Eight foot five builds are coming to 2K24. Uh -huh. The reason I say this is because back in 2020, when the uh -huh. Mellow Ball was drafted third overall to the Hornets, he was listed as a six foot seven yep. point guard. Following this draft, 2K then allowed us for the first time ever to create a six seven and six eight point guard builds in the builder. Uh -huh. So now that Victor Wembanyama was drafted number one overall recently to the Spurs, are we gonna be able to make seven foot five centers in 2K24? Because he's y'all see. Y'all see? Is this a WRL to y'all, man? Do y'all think this could break the game? If y'all don't know, there's actually a lot of people that can make big seven foot builds that can actually dribble. And now with like this, like being implied more, what, seven five shot creator? You feel me? And then like the whole sim movement, how they like de in them. And then with the seven five shot creator, it could get crazy, my boy. It could get real crazy. A lot of big bills, full on shot creators and post scores. It can get nasty. It can get broken. The return of the post score prime, the 2K19 ones can return. Now, before I get further into this, Demi basically leaked in a space. It's in one of my videos when I was going over the spaces and stuff. He basically leaked that since they already gave people a taste of do it all build they can never go back and he said it like very confidently uh, like things might be more nerfed or whatever but the do it all concept is always gonna be here that's what it's seeming like he was trying to convey people was trying to uh tell him that you know they need to go back to the role players and all this type of stuff and all that but he was like we can't go back because then it would cause a huge uproar you know so it's looking like the do it all concept will will return man y'all let me know how you feel about that silver war man now look ld tweeted this out seven five shot creator is the wildest player profile graphic of all time retweeted this you feel me pay attention now look badge made this tweet should the nba 2k24 builder make superstars our role players y'all let me know y'all's thoughts down below LD says, I want every build to be a Wimby build just for the chaos. Watch your mouth about 2K16, boy. Trying to say people just lost or something. Watch your mouth. Don't ever disrespect greatness. It ain't no nostalgia, boy. I could take you down memory lane and show you 300 different things gameplay related that were just better. But, LD says, the demigod became real and his name is Wimby feel me you know ld's trying to like say oh he's not leaking stuff and all that you know but yeah nah i, I ain't buying it my boy this all makes sense what i'm saying now let's get into what joe knows has to say he made a whole video about this i believe he's going to leak us some information he is very close with 2k if you did not know well maybe not 2k but he's but he's close with demi and uh demi has to do with builder and stuff so let's see if joe might kind of leak us some information now for instance with double h man he says ditch the mega superstar builds right here's my whole thing bro a lot of these ratings that people are getting now they don't really matter once you're smart there's minimum thresholds where you could be just as effective as someone else you can have a way lower three instead of the super high three that they allow you to have. Like for instance, you could have a 90 something three and shoot just as good as someone with a 99 three. There is no major difference. So do you need to upgrade that stuff? Do you really need contact dunks? You don't, right? You could get away with a lower dunk and still be just as effective. Do you really need the maxed out crazy layup? No, you don't you could get by and do a lot of crazy layups with a way lower you feel me it, the, the gameplay is what matters what that rating allows you to do is what matters people be thinking when you compare it to past 2ks that like for instance a 99.3 is the same in every 2k when it's not they're completely different because of the gameplay here's what this builder bro every 2k has do it all builds even the role playing ones bro i can go over every 2k and tell you the do it all builds they exist in every 2k for instance 2k15 you could have super tall builds that were very effective bro everyone knows this but the gameplay 
was very balanced before patch four a lot of y'all don't know that and seven foot demigods were only 0 0.001 of like the 2k community they were only in the stage and it was at the end of the game and shooting over people patch four was at the end of the game demigods were at the end of the game so that does not represent what 2k 15 was but you could rock a big tall build that could do everything the gameplay balancing was amazing you could track the 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 offensive guy you could follow him you could get paint stops way better than the newer 2ks or role playing 2ks 2k16 was another builder that was a do it all builder you could literally make one build and be good all year that means yo you it's really a do it all builder you feel me your your guard could dunk shoot the three play defense get boards all of that right you know the 2k16 had the six twos and, and the six sevens and you know those were good at the meta level 2k17 was the last 2k where you could guard your own man and didn't have to rely on a lockdown i like 2k's where i could guard my own man and don't have to rely on a lockdown and i think the casual like those 2k's more too because they don't have good teammates but the creators and comp players they want it probably more role player way because they're always going to have good teammates the casual look here here's the difference between role playing 2ks and superstar builder 2k the difference is you being able to have defense on your build that's the difference that's truly the only difference so if you really for the community you'd be like yeah you can have some defense on your build you feel me and still be decent at, at the other levels i think the gameplay just plays better overall because it's like bruh you want to spend 150 dollars for a kyle corver build people ain't really doing the math that's insane that's insane but i mean like if y'all if y'all want that i mean because it, it doesn't like e even if you're saying it because you think it balances the game more it really doesn't what people are really complaining about is gameplay bro because every year people can reach all these ratings what matters more is can you stop it that's what matters bro you feel me just because someone can do everything it don't matter if you can stop it it don't matter as much and i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna go through even the other 2ks the 2k17 bro you had 610 point forwards that were dogs could do everything the 69 ones the 68 the 67s you know that was a real sweet spot the 67s was stupid nice okay there are do it all builds in them hoes and then even when you go on there's other builds that were more do-it-all builds in 2k17 in 2k18 okay 17 they would say those role that's a role playing 2k 18 they would say that's a role playing 2k right but they had these demigod stretch bigs just ruining the game running point guard everybody's running two centers you could run a 610 point forward who could shoot better than any of these builds with a 90 something three in 2k23 right but their three point was low right and they had less badges but they could shoot from half and shoot better than these builds in 2k23 you see that's a gameplay thing even though they couldn't get that crazy dunk they was still stupid op slashing because they could blow right by their opponent and since they're 610 you're really not stopping them and then the quick drops was already stupid low right you feel me and then the dribbling was way better your movement was better and then you could snatch back if they wanted to get nasty with you impress you you feel me and then you could blow by at any time so th it's the gameplay not the builder the builders the genjutsu man you know the, there were point guard builds that could shoot even though they don't have these higher ratings now they could shoot just as good bro literally if you played it and you was nd you know the slashing shot creator in 2k18 that was a do it all build they could dunk on anything they could do everything they were dominating the league i think someone dropped like 80 something points versus a comp team versus them bro they were insane you didn't even need to speed boost with them hoes and there, there's just way more builds 2k19 all the stretch bigs the speed boost and lockdowns the the post scores you could make a big play shot and basically just be a do-it-all build and be just as effective as these do-it-all builds now because of the minimum thresholds you need to really do the exact same thing bro you feel me y'all get what i'm saying them playmakers they like they can really do everything and shoot just as good man y'all gotta feel what i'm saying bro 2k20 the 
BP build, the two-way slash and playmaker, the speed boost and lockdowns. Even though everyone didn't make a speed boost and lockdowns, it didn't mean that you couldn't. You remember Bronny, right? You could make them builds, the speed boost and perimeter lockdowns. There are so many different do-it-all builds in every 2K. And we already know 2K21 and 22 and 23. But y'all get what I'm saying. And if y'all, if I missed any builds, comment them down below, bro. It's the same, it creates the same effect. And especially in the in them other 2Ks, there was an animation glitch, bro. Ratings need to matter more. And defense just gotta be buffed. There has to be a way to stop something, bro. Y'all remember the 2K20 paint beast? The 2K20 lockdowns? But that's a role-playing 2K. Those was do-it-all demigod builds, bro. Like, they was more broken than the lockdowns now. And and if, if, if these are really do-it-all builds, build 2Ks, why do people still make so many different builds? Because in them other 2Ks, I wasn't making all these different type of builds. There's a there's a difference. when And then at the meta level, it's not just a bunch of people just running the same 6'9 or 6'8. No, they still have the traditional positions. They got the lock, they got the popper, and they got the guard, which it could be big or small. So it's like, I don't know, man. I have a different perspective, man. But I, I just, I, I strongly believe it's the gameplay, bro. Like, you genuinely can't tell me if in 23 they put 16 defense, people wouldn't be complaining about the builder so much. You feel me? Or even if not 16, you could say 17. That hoe had way better defense in this hoe. Um, 19, uh, like the 20, like better defense, even though you couldn't stop that damn dribble glitch, but you could track people better. You were more responsive on defense. You could get more paint stops on. Good points, and I want to touch on a couple of them. The last one he said where build names need an identity, I couldn't agree more. Facts. There's a few years now on new gen where the build name literally does not matter. It, it doesn't show what your build can do, as opposed to in the past, it absolutely absolutely did. If you were a sharp shooting playmaker in 2K19, you knew, okay, he's going to be looking to shoot threes, he's going to be very quick off the dribble, he's going to be shifty. Why wouldn't the best animations require 90 plus? The gameplay, and we'll talk about this more, the gameplay has to work with the builder and vice versa. You hear that? Otherwise, the game is going to fold. And the last one I want to touch on is removing the mega superstar builds. I've seen this everywhere. It seems like the community as a whole is tired of the do everything type of builds. It seems like we're leaning, we're leaning more towards the archetype, double archetype, pie chart type y'all hear this type of builder which i'm not against but the people that are against it say oh i don't want to be a role player i want to be a superstar we're not asking for you to be kyle corver or dylan brooks we're just bro 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 first off y'all are for 150 dollars you do not want to make a kyle corver build bro that's crazy asking for each build to have strengths and weaknesses so it strengths actually and matters what your build is built to do otherwise everyone's doing everything eh? So these strengths and weaknesses, bro, look, this is just an illusion. You only really need minimum thresholds, bro. Like for instance, a 99.3 versus a 90 something three or a 89.3 is like the same thing. So just because builds are looking more OP doesn't mean they're actually OP. If you get any of these old builds from role playing 2K, because of the gameplay, they will destroy these builds that look crazier and have way more badges bro like for instance do you really need a 99 dunk does is it really that beneficial do you really need contact dunks is it really that beneficial no it's not you can get by with way less do you really need a 99 layup or do you you know do you just need that threshold that's why with the role playing 2Ks, like I be telling y'all, like you could still hit the threshold to still be a demigod build. Like just because you get a super high pass accuracy, you can get by and still be just as effective, bro. The same thing with steel and these other attributes. These attributes don't matter enough and don't show a big a difference when it comes to the gameplay. And a lot of people, they get caught up in the illusion that 2K markets to y'all. That's why they switch up the scenery with things just because something looks different like j just because something says 99.3 doesn't mean in every single 2k it has the same power of a 99.3 as other 2ks like a 75.3 or like the whole speed with ball stats doesn't even matter bro like maybe when you running downhill but to actually move around and get like real you know like there's a lot of ways there's a lot of different ratings in the builder that
that don't really matter. So it's like people been making demigods, but they might not look like demigods. That's my whole point with this do it all builder or role playing builder. Man, do it all builds been in every 2K. <laughs> so like people, I think people should be more focused with just like the gameplay and you know, pick the builder that like, you know, I I think game, I think the game plays better when people have more defense, you know, to where you don't have to rely on another lockdown because that's really a privilege because like not everyone can find other teammates or other lockdowns. So it kind of messes up the casual experience to not have any defense. You feel me? I don't know, man. Basically, the one I want to take, it echoed a lot of what Double H said, but the one I want to take from this is every attribute mattering. Now, this also piggybacks off of the attribute yep. animation requirement thing, but he's also talking about gameplay-wise. Like, he talks about 45 standing dunk, and if anyone has played any sweaty game mode, you guys know, even on a 6-3 yep. guard, like, once you get around 45 standing Wait. dunk, you can basically standing dunk glitch anytime you get in the restricted area. Wait. So, he's also, he's not just saying the animation requirements, but he's also saying, and it's what I just touched on earlier that I said we're going to talk about, Wait. the gameplay has to work with the builder. Exactly. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Look, look. Me and Joe knows we both got each other blocked. We don't even fuck with each other at all. Look, bro, he's literally saying what I'm telling you. The 45 dunk is all you need. It's because you have a 70, 80, 90. There ain't no big dramatic difference. You can still be a demigod and get all those benefits just with that 45. So just because a build doesn't look as OP doesn't mean it's still not as OP and it's not a do it all all demi build like what people are really talking about is the gameplay i keep telling y'all y'all don't get it I'm telling you i'm really i'm really the brainiac 2k guru my boy like i'm really the father of time in this standing dunks all the time with a 45 standing dunk then what is the point of putting your standing dunk any higher than that exactly Next up, statistics said this but a lot of people said this they said we need the 2k19 archetypes back in 2K19, we had double archetypes, right? So it was the 2K17 builder, except you chose a primary archetype and a secondary archetype. And I'm not going to lie, I really like this builder, you know, but going back to anything old is going to feel boring and lazy. Something fresh and something new yep. and something better than what we had in 2K19, right? Yep. But what I also want to touch on, and I, I've talked about it, I mentioned it a few times, but I want to talk about it a little more in detail. The gameplay has to work with the builder. So, for example, yep. you 2K18 see? had damn near the same builder as 2K19. Yep. But you don't hear anyone <laughs> saying, we need 2K18 builder back. Yep. Because the gameplay didn't work with the builder. Yep. The gameplay had so many... <laughs> Look! You saying what I'm saying, bro? But people say I'm crazy. Like I just want some stupid cheesehead game when I'm literally straight about defense. That's all I talk about, and I want the game to be hard as hell. Like y'all think I'm just some cheeser? I'm not these little weak shot creating post scores on the on the timeline, bro. I be trying to tell y'all, man broken mechanics about it that no one even remembers that the builder was very similar to 2k19 exactly. but people like the 2k19 gameplay and the 2k19 builder exactly the 2K19 builder. My point but look 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 and I, I think a lot of people get caught up in um the attractiveness of the 17 18 and 19 uh builder i think it was very attractive to people and it kind of it it looked like it gave you something like special you know but as i've been telling you bro in every 2k these these builds exist so it's like they're giving us the same thing it just looks different you know like it's like built-in pie charts in a sense but people don't they they can't look past it it's just like with the do it all builder it's like it looks like it's a do it all builder, free reign. But why do you think when you upgrade certain ratings, other ratings go up? It's to limit and restrict you in a pie chart kind of fashion, but still kind of more. F it's, 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 they, they really be. For my park, my player, my career, whatever you want to call it, the builder. Man, them play now cats don't even like, bro. Their opinion does not matter, bro. They don't even be knowing that half the people they be using have no badges like someone will be a amazing playmaker and have zero playmaking badges or KD who has zero defensive badges Steph Curry has zero defensive badges like what the hell are y'all playing why aren't y'all talking about this it's it's crazy and the gameplay have to they don't even together. know otherwise it's gonna feel like 
why am I even going to bother playing this? Something's broken, something's overpowered. An extra nut made a really good point. Moving shot attributes in balanced badge attribute distribution for all heights. There's no reason to make a 6-4 or 6-6 build this year. So I want to talk about the first part. It's kind of niche, and a lot of people haven't thought about this, but moving shot attributes have not been in the game for many years. And what has happened on new gen? Like, people keep trying to bring up the moving shot attribute. Yes, that would be a W to add, but still, like, if you can still upgrade to a certain threshold and be extremely effective, that's not going to change the problem of fading just being broken. You feel me? Fading is just easier now, man. And people are going to figure out the minimum threshold you need and the badges that you need. And they're going to figure it out to where you can three and still fade on whatever build they're going to do, bro. They're going to figure it out. So, like, other things need to be addressed, like defense. That is how you really, like, chill the fades. But I don't know, man. I think they want everyone to be fading to be honest and it's like even if they do add that what people are just going to take out defense like you got a lot to go play d for you like that's just how people are going to make their builds you feel me everyone is fading on every single build so it creates like the same result that's not mad you have an 83 pointer a 99 three pointer everyone's fading why because there's no moving at moving shot attributes. So whatever your rating is, it ends up being good enough that you can fade from anywhere. Shooting RT fades, run out RT fades. By putting back in moving shot attributes, moving mid-range, moving three-pointer, that would make people actually decide if that's going to be their play. It's kind of like you allowed everyone to play like them with this builder because there's no moving shot. At and in turn, I mean, the gameplay allowed it as well. We, we just talked about the builder and the gameplay working together. So the fact that he's kind of mentioning this, it could mean that this could be added into uh, 24, man. Pay attention to like the stuff he talking about, man. He real close close to the source might help with that i told you i'm not taking feedback just from content creators right just business said every possible option is a real option no play style should feel pointless i want you to think about what he just said every possible option is an actually real option every possible option bro at the comp level it's it's, it's it really depends on your level of comp that you're preferring to play what play styles you can use and it will always be that and people need to accept that bro because even if other playstyles are allowed, that, that probably means that your game's broken. You feel me? Like, just from a fundamental perspective, um, I don't think people really think about that, man. Because, like, say, for instance, like, post scores is just, like, him on the threes. Like, imagine what that will look like, bro. Um, like, really think about that. But there's very limited options in terms of builds that are actually competent. Think about, let's go back to 2K19, like that. 2K19 was broken. If he's finna pray, he's a he's an X stretch big, by the way. It, 19 was broken, so it allowed so many other different play styles to play. It was broken. Bro, post score, rim protector. He's just post scoring. The rim protector's holding circle under the rim. That's not real hoops. That is broken. The uh the double lockdown, the guard and then the stretch, the double stretch, the stretch and then the glass, the the slasher, then the stretch. Like, bro, bro, there's so many, but it was like broken. That's why there were so many styles like allowed to be played, you know? But that that that's how I think about it, man. I said, bring back that builder. If you went on the twos in 2K19, you would play against different lineups and different builds all the time. People were running stretch glass cleaner. People were running playmaking sharpshooter with a glass cleaner with a stretch of big people were running double point forwards people were running post score and lockdown people were running double lockdowns people yeah. there was every lineup you could but but see see look did did i don't think people think like 19 did have the potential to be one of the best 2ks but it was so broken that it's a bottom like three 2k bro like it was bro it is like the most broke 2k ever you know it's not the worst because it has some good elements the dribbling and movement was immaculate but the contest system the pushing the post scores the stretch bigs dexing doing the push-up animation bro that's insane that that like insane how that game was played if you played any type of decent people it was like so broken bro 
<laughs> I like it was just so broken, bro. To make contested shots, and the best three point shooter should only shoot 40%. And y'all see where they're going with this debate, right? They're going back and forth on things like that. Now, the first thing I'll say is they both have good points, and it, it does open up your eyes on, on what different people's perspectives are on the thing. Now, what I will say is, in terms of the realism thing, obviously a realistic basketball game would be cool, but I'm going to be honest, it is a video game, and it's going to be hard for it to be realistic. Like, the best three point shooters in the world shoot 40%. Do you exactly. want to time your shot correctly and only make 40% of them? I think that would be a very frustrating game. You listen, listen, listen. You want to know who brought up uh, the three point percent to really crush like the people who's try to say like make the game more realistic as a like excuse to nerf uh, dribblers and stuff. It was me. I put this knowledge in the 2K community. I see a lot of people running with that, you know, like, bro, I was the first to bring up the real three point percent. So like we could crush these arguments, man. I'm really, I'm really a OG Grandmaster Sensei, man. Y'all really don't be knowing, man. Play. If you also want to play perfect defense and just have someone rise up over you and hit a contested shot like Kevin Durant, I think uh, that would also be very frustrating because that's not rewarding skill. That's not rewarding you outplaying your opponent and at the exactly. end of the day it's a video game. And that's what we want, right? But I also see his point, like he doesn't want to just be a role player, but we talked about it just because we want a simpler builder and we want But look, look, the, the 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 thing is, bro, here's the only difference between the two builders, having defense or not. Do y'all think people should have defense or not? You know, from a casual perspective, like the, these are our fans. I believe they should have defense that might like mess with our views and stuff because there's not a lot more role playing builds we can make i don't i don't know i don't i don't i don't think about it from that perspective but i just think from a casual perspective they will have a better experience with having builds that have defense on their builds not everyone can find teammates bro we can find teammates but like the normal casual dog like they they'll do bet they'll just have a better experience with a more open builder and i think maybe that could have them play more but maybe tune in i i don't know i don't know but i two court you know a six one guard on every three score like people want a game back where like i said 2k 19 2k 17 not in terms of making the same game but i'm saying in terms of you're gonna play against different builds all the so look the the fact that he's saying this man i don't i don't know i i've, I've I come to the conclusion that it's gonna be a 19 similar builder with the, like the open builder mix like imagine like 19 but more freedom you know y'all let me know if y'all think that's a w or not if you want to hear the space of me talking to the 2k devs make sure you click uh the video on the screen but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome